Now that we've found the sign chart for our polynomial, the first derivative and the second derivative, let's go over what they tell us about the graph of the polynomial when used at the same time. First, let's stack them on top of each other like a three layer cake. Now, extend any of the dotted lines for all three of the levels. The negative four, the three, the 10, and the 17 subdivides our function into five intervals. In each of these five sections, we can use the signs to tell us what the polynomial is doing in each section. Starting with when x is less than negative four. Here, our top level, which represents the sign chart for our polynomial, is negative, which tells us that our function will be below the x-axis when x is below negative four. Then, on the next level down, our first derivative sign chart, we have a positive sign, which tells us our function is increasing in this section. Finally, on the bottom layer, our second derivative sign chart, we have a negative, which tells us our function is concave down. We can use the first and second derivative to determine the shape our function will take on in this section. Our function is increasing and concave down, well, which side of this represents an increasing function? Well, it would be this half. And so our function takes on this shape, and it will be below the x-axis when x is below negative 4. Moving on to the section where x is between negative 4 and positive 3, all three of our signs are negative. The polynomial level tells us our function will be below the x-axis in this section. The first derivative level tells us that our function is decreasing, and the second derivative level tells us that we are concave down. Decreasing and concave down tells us our function will look like this, and it will be located below the x-axis when x is between negative 4 and positive 3. When x is between positive 3 and positive 10, our function will be below the x-axis, decreasing, and concave up. Decreasing and concave up tells us our function will look like this, and will be below the x-axis. When x is between positive 10 and 17, our function will be below the x-axis, increasing, and concave up. Increasing and concave up gives us this shape, and it will be below the x-axis. Finally, when x is above 17, our function will be above the x-axis, increasing and concave up. Increasing and concave up give us this shape, and it will be above the x-axis. And finally, the sign chart basically gives us a template of what our graph for our polynomial looks like. We see that when we are below negative four, our function will be increasing up until x equals negative four. Then it will start decreasing in this pattern from x equals negative four to x equals three. At x equals three, we will switch to a decreasing concave up pattern until we get to x equals positive 10. At x equals positive 10, our function will stop decreasing and turn around and go up until x equals 17. And in that section, it will remain below the x-axis. At x equals 17, it will cross the x-axis and continue increasing in the same pattern as x goes to infinity.